Hi there, Paul Kirtley here, author of Paul Kirtley's blog, the leading source of wilderness bushcraft advice on the net, and founder of Frontier Bushcraft, the award-winning bushcraft school. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, I want to go and do an overseas trip. Um, I want to go and do a wilderness trip or a camping trip or a hiking trip. And I want to take my knife or my saw with me. I want to take a cutting tool with me. Can I do that? How do I get that on the plane? Well, it's really quite simple. The answer is, it's fine as long as you put all of your cutting tools, anything sharp, in your hold luggage rather than your hand luggage so that all of those sharp things that could be potentially seen as a weapon by the airport or the airline authorities are locked away safely in the hold. It really is that simple. Then the only other thing you need to worry about really is at the end of the journey where you're traveling to the airport and the other end of the journey where you're traveling away from the airport is just make sure that those tools are out of the way when you don't need them. Just the same as in normal life, if you're walking around with a machete on your belt and you're down your local store, down your local supermarket, um, people are going to wonder why that's the case. You don't need to have it with you. And it's just the same when you're traveling from your home to the airport. Make sure everything's packed away, out of sight, not accessible, and there will be no problem. Same at the other end. You get off the flight, you get your hold luggage, you take it with you to your end of the, the end destination, whether that's the trailhead or a hostel or a hut or what have you, you get ready and then you're off on your trip. That's absolutely fine. Um, but as I say, make sure it's in the hold luggage, even a small pen knife. Don't forget a little pen knife you might have on your key ring or something. Put it all in the hold luggage and you'll have no trouble whatsoever. I hope that uh, serves you well. I hope that's useful advice. It's certainly something I get asked about a lot. If you found this useful, please go to my website, paulkirtley.co.uk, where you'll find many more useful pieces of information, articles, videos on bushcraft, travel, outdoor life in general. And if you sign up for my newsletter, you'll also get 20 free videos straight away. I'll send you those straight away on all different aspects of bushcraft and outdoor life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.